Good morning, everyone. I'm out here at Prairie Fire Winery in Paxico. So many great things going on for the fall season. Lots of things being harvested right now as well. Obviously, agriculture is a big uh, thing here in Northeast Kansas. One thing you may not know, though, is uh, Northeast Kansas is a great place to also harvest uh, grapes for wine. With me this morning is Bob, the owner of Prairie Fire Winery, and uh, it's it's a great morning out here to harvest some grapes. It's Good morning. Isn't it? Good morning. It is beautiful out here. Uh, so not a lot of people may know that uh, this area here in Paxico in the Flint Hills is a great area for harvesting grapes. Why is that so? This soil here in the Flint Hills is amazing. We have the most organically rich soil in the world. And then you look at the slope that we're on. We've got a beautiful southeastern aspect here in the Flint Hills. We get that early morning sun, which really helps dry any dew. And then as we can see with our breeze today, we get a really nice airflow that comes through the vineyard as well. Absolutely. Now, how many acres do you all have out here for harvesting? Um, we have about 10 acres of grapes. Wow. Okay. And what type of grapes? How many different types of grapes do you have? Um, we have quite a few, actually. What we harvest for wine, we've got about 13. And then we also have a heritage vineyard that we've been working on, bringing back a lot of the grapes that haven't been here for over 100 years that were widely planted through the 1800s. So oh, wow. we have about 80 different types wow. of grapes in total. Now give me an idea on when the harvest season typically is every year for the various grapes. Yeah, this is the end of our harvest season. We're okay. kind of excited. We've been uh, going all season. It starts usually about the middle of August and goes uh, to right about October. October, okay. Now you all have a variety of different types of uh, wine that you offer. Uh, give me an idea of how many selections we have. We do. We have, right now, we have about uh, 28 different wines that we make and a little bit of everything from dry to sweet, white, red, and we also make the only uh, traditional method sparkling in Kansas history. So uh, we're really proud of that and that's a lot of fun too. Yeah, and incredible. It's all right here in Northeast Kansas. We're going to be helping out with some of the picking today. We already have a few people behind us. Uh, how many volunteers do we have? Uh, we've got about 75 people here today. And, uh, you know, everything we do is heavy, so it's good to have a lot of hands. It makes them work a lot lighter. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you guys are open year-round, correct? But the harvest season ending soon. We are. We're open every day. We're only closed four days out of the year, actually. And uh, so anybody can come just about any day of the week. All right. Well, Bob, thank you so much for being with me here this morning. Uh, such a great uh, fall harvest activity here in northeast Kansas. And we're real proud to have local businesses like you out here. So We're ready to put you to work. I know. I'm going to go to work. All right. Thank you again, Bob. From there, we'll be back after this break. 25.